Hi Capricorn. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate. We're going to start with general messages and then we will take a look at you and the person you're connecting with. What are the general messages for Capricorn? Well, I see you getting approved for something or something turning out in your favor here. Uh, be cautious of your belongings, Capricorn, okay? Especially if you have something really expensive, okay? Something that you value. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, it doesn't have to hold a lot of value to other people. But if there's something you value, you need to protect it because it does look like you're at risk for being stolen from. I don't know why I'm getting, like, sunglasses or your purse or something that is valuable to you. It could just be sentimental value. Like, I'm getting like a con artist here. I'm also seeing you could be spending a lot of time with family. There could have been a loss in the family. You could be receiving a message um, of somebody who's in bad health. If you know a family member that is not in the best of health, you should be spending time with this family member. Um, but I'm seeing something... Some type of drama also involving uh, an inheritance or decisions about a family member. You could either be hearing about this or be a part of this. Spirit, what else? Yeah, we have the bad health card. Uh, coffin and family room. Message of concern. Um, you know, this is not to paranoid anyone, but I do want to tell you I'm getting a message of somebody here uh, that is close to you. They could possibly be in bad health at this time. You should spend time with this person if you can. Um, I am seeing a message uh, of concern surrounding something to do with a family member. We also have journey to be traveling. This could be traveling for a funeral. Are there any other messages for Capricorn, please? Yeah, so and just that's really the biggest message I'm getting. Spend time with your loved ones, okay? The ones, uh, especially the ones that are in bad health, okay, is what I'm getting. I think you already know something, okay? I don't think this is coming to too much of a surprise. And I'm also seeing you spend a lot of time with family, or your family is wanting you to. you um, that are dealing with legal situations, not all of you are. So if you're dealing with a legal situation, I am seeing something about a final outcome here or some, some sort of progress, okay, when it comes to a legal matter of child support, alimony, or divorce, something along those lines. I am seeing something to do with like legal documentation. This could be a deed to a home or trying to divide assets here, but I'm seeing something along those lines. Somebody getting served papers even. Tell me more about that. So it's like you're very overwhelmed about this, okay, with the Seven of Cups. Confused, overwhelmed, six of um, the Six of Wands clarifying that, Capricorn. This is approved. So you could be getting approved for something. You could be getting approved for a refinance or getting approved for a home loan in general. That could just be the only thing that the legal situation that's coming out. Some of you guys, it is a divorce, so... I see a success here, a successful di division. Some of you guys are just wanting to divorce. That could be why that energy is popping out. But let's take a look at the person you're inquiring about. See what's happening there. the messages for Capricorn in regards to the person they're inquiring about. Okay, two of swords, so a stalemate. So it's like we got Leo energy and air energy. 
you're at a stalemate with this person. I feel like you both are holding back from one another. I also feel like you both could be digging for information on each other. Okay, this could be just spying on social media, of course, but she's really looking inside the lion, that, that lion's mouth here. You see this person is arrogant. You know, how you feel is the Five of Cups. You just feel very disappointed. Somebody here really at one point gave you a lot of attention. Okay, and then they ended up disappointing you and Nine of Pentacles. You kind of just, it went from something that you saw as potentially successful to leaving you, you know, by yourself, alone, independent here, okay? Some of you guys even question whether or not you want to commit to anything after dealing with this person. But I feel like you guys are getting your mojo back, okay? You could be feeling single and ready to mingle, right? You could be feeling like, you know, yourself again. Ten of Cups is how they see you. They see you as unbothered. They think you're living your best life, Capricorn. Now, specifically, those of you that are dealing with new people that you don't have a history with, I am seeing you both pretend to ignore each other, but you both just, you watch each other more than anyone else, okay? And I am feeling like you could be disappointed that this person is not coming forward and you're trying to your best to, you know, present yourself in a way to say, hey, I'm interested, and you could be waiting for them to come forward for some of you guys. That's you. They do see you as someone they want a relationship with. Wow. Okay. They feel the sun. So you make this person incredibly happy, or this is someone that's missing when things were going great. The devil. Oh, they're obsessed. Somebody, you know, they're giving you the Two of Swords impression. Like, they, they act like they're indifferent. They act like they don't see you. They act busy, okay, held back, closed off, right? The reality of the situation is somebody is obsessed with the way you shine, with the way you make them feel, with being involved with you. They're obsessed. The Five of Swords tells me this is all a game. This is all a game. You're obsessed with Capricorn. So this is somebody who wants to be with you. They're tired of waiting. Three of Wands in reverse, Two of Cups. So they want to talk. They want to communicate. What is, why do they want to communicate with Capricorn? Judgment. <laughs> so they want an answer. They want answers. Some of you guys, this is, you know, that judgment card talks about another chance. We have the page of wands, more communication. So I'm just hearing like less talk, but tell me about this two of swords. Let's get more, more clarity on the two of swords, the strength card. Yeah, they're just held back guys, four of pentacles, biting their tongue. This is them biting their tongue. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's like pulling teeth just to get any sort of sign or information from this person. We got the moon and then the ace of swords. That Gemini new moon has really made this person see the light. They've received some type of clarity with that energy. Page of pentacles. Guys, they really want to talk. Really want to talk. Really, really bad with the devil. So what are their potential next actions towards Capricorn? Eight of Wands. I see them communicating their feelings. The tower at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. I see somebody telling you or, or revealing. So it's like a reveal because I don't see any swords here. I don't think they might actually tell you. But the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, this is a reveal with the Tower. They're going to reveal to you how they feel. Well, how do they reveal to you how they feel without communicating it and saying it? By showing back up 
or by flirting with the Knight of Wands. There's some type of bold statement this person is about to make. Okay, that is going to make you very happy. And it reveals their truest emotions for you. So you're going to see. You're going to get clarity there. What? Let's see. What does Capricorn need to release? It says surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you, Capricorn. Is there anything else for Capricorn? Okay, it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. And then it says you and your loved ones are safe. So just remember, no matter, that's new moon in Cancer. No matter what takes place that, you know, you and your loved ones, you're safe. Your spirits are safe. Now, for a lot of you Capricorns, I'm also picking up on some of you guys could be wanting to leave a situation. Now, this could be a work situation. It could be anything. Okay, take it how it resonates. These are general I feel like, you know, there will be a successful outcome when you release doubt and fear. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.